Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. Uh, lots of stories today. I'm hoping to do maybe four or five of them at most. Not going to push myself. But uh, this first one is a tale of two missed lessons. Uh, lesson number one is to do with direct payments. Uh, and that is to do with, for example, when a tenant who's on the dole or is in, you know, in, in need of benefits has to have rent paid, uh, the council used to pay the landlord directly. Um, you know, this was a way of ensuring the rent was paid and the landlord would never throw the tenant out for non-payment of rent. Labour came along and said this wasn't very dignified and insisted the tenant received the money. The way the tenant could then pay the landlord directly, giving the tenant dignity. But of course we all know what happens. In a large amount of times, the tenant would need the money for other things, would spend it on other things and the rent didn't get paid. And eventually the landlord would evict the tenant for non-payment of rent. How very dignified is that? And the landlords were made out to be bad people for doing that. But they're not the ones who spent the rent money on other things. The second lesson, of course, is ring fencing. And we all know how bad the SNP are at ring fencing. Indeed, there's a whole police investigation into it. And so we now have to ask, where is the £33 million of ring fence money meant for farmers given from the UK to the SNP to be handed to farmers? Should it have been handed directly to them? But the SNP complained, said, no, 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 we'll do it because they needed the money. And indeed, I think there should be an a complete police investigation into this issue. But we'll take a look, see what's happened to the money, see why they haven't paid it over and see if a police investigation would be perhaps preferable. Here goes. So new low for the SNP as they admit missing £33 million of ring fence rural funding from the UK government may not be returned next year. And by missing, they meant perhaps fraudulently um, extracted or just plain stolen, which we'll see when we do the piece. Only it gets worse. It gets worse than this. Um, Scottish Government Deputy First Minister and liar Shona Robinson confessed in a meeting with the NFU Scotland that the £33 million ring fence cash may not even be returned to farmers next year and that the SNP executive may dip further into agricultural funds to fix a £1 billion budget black hole. Money that they cannot account for, that they have spent on a variety of other things, the two million a year that it costs to run the independence, um, you know, department effectively, because you've got a hundred thousand a year on um, Jamie Hebben, but he's got 20 staff under him and then he's producing these very expensive glossy brochures. It's at least two million a year, possibly more than that. Just on that, you've got the eight and a half million pound a month on uh, spin doctors in the NHS. You're doing 20 million a year on keeping all these offices all over the world and they're calling them embassies. Uh, pointless, not a sovereign nation, nobody talks to you. Why are they doing it? Why are they wasting all this money? Why isn't the money going directly where it's meant to? In this case, to the farmers who, let's face it, need it after all the cock-ups by that woman uh, and the agricultural affairs woman, oh God, gouging, isn't it? Uh, gouging, more like. Um, these people, need that money. And that, that's not SNP money. That's UK government money that was handed there to be handed out directly. And they've taken it, they've misappropriated it, and they've spent it elsewhere. And as I say, that's either misappropriation of public money, it's theft, it's fraud, it's embezzlement. Who knows? It's all sorts of things, none of which are legal. The police need to be called in. The Scottish Government has been accused of stooping to a new low after it was revealed that a missing £33 million of ring fence rural funding may not be returned next year. We previously told how SNP ministers came under fire after removing the money from the agricultural budget which was meant to support farmers. Money that was not SNP money, remember. This is UK Government money that the SNP were handed in order to hand straight out to the farmers and instead decided to spend it elsewhere. Misappropriation of funds. Uh, it, was deferred from the, uh, from it was deferred from during the government's emergency budget review in 2022, with the then Secretary, uh, Finance Secretary John Swinney promising the cash would be returned in future years. He lies because he's a liar. Uh, it led to NFU Scotland campaigning for this cash to be repaid in 2024-25, 
But again, this is unlikely to happen. Because of course it is. Who believes them? The money was handed to the SNP executive by the UK government, not SNP money, uh, as part of the 2019 Bureau review into the fair allocation of farm support across the country. But this money has now been removed, despite it being ring-fenced. And when the moment they've done that, they have broken the law because it was not their money to use. This money belonged to the farmers. This is what happens when the local council pays the tenant who has to pay the landlord. The landlord doesn't get the money. It's a far better system, I think, if the UK government paid these farmers directly and anywhere, anywhere where the UK government puts money into the Scottish government in order to pay out directly to people who benefit, rather than putting it in and ring fencing it for that use, they should pay them directly and remove the SNP and the Scottish government from that cycle. Certainly it would remove a layer uh, of bureaucracy but it would mean that the money went directly to where it was needed. Rural Affairs Secretary Mary Gugin uh, previously could not tell MSPs where the money had been spent, showing that it had been spent inappropriately. Uh, she insisted in, uh, that spending had been used as a saving, but it was still ring-fenced. However, critics pointed out that it could no longer be ring-fenced if it was used elsewhere. That's right, how can it be ring-fenced if you've spent it? And why were you spending it? It was not your money to spend. And when you spend money that is not your money, that's fraud. Please, please investigate. Now, the Scottish Daily Express can reveal that the funding may not even be returned next year and that the ministers could take even more money away from the vital agricultural sector to fund a budget black hole of their making. Deputy First Minister and liar Shona Robertson admitted this during a meeting with the NFU, uh, in NFU Scotland in June. She was questioned about when farmers could expect this cash again and said future budgets are set through the annual parliamentary budget bill process. Yes, your uh, annual parliamentary budget process, not the UK one. You should not be spending UK money as you see fit because it's not your money. She said the appropriate profile for returning this funding will be considered as part of the 24-25 process. The farmers need to get together and sue them. More worrying, she could not guarantee that no more ring fence money would be taken away from the agricultural budget. And then that line shows the need to pay the farmers directly. Because what is the point of the UK government giving them more, quote, ring fence money if the SNP are just going to take it and use it for what they didn't deem necessary not sending it to where the UK government has insisted it needs to be. Ms Robinson said, our current financial situation is among the most challenging since devolution. Yes, and getting worse. As I've previously stated, I will not back away from the tough choices from the decisions I can control to manage the overall Scottish budget. You're not managing it. In fact, if you're having to steal money to balance your books, it shows what an appallingly bad job you're doing. We will look to carefully manage our limited resources and if further savings emerge from the ring fence funds, as with the 33 million, they will be returned in the future to support agriculture. Quite clearly a lie because you'll never have those funds. You're spending money in places where you shouldn't be spending it and you will never ever be able to afford it. You're talking billions in deficit now. We did the video a few days ago where you are billions of pounds you know in deficit it is not um a way of running it i mean if it wasn't for north sea oil what was it you'd be 30 billion deficit where are you getting the money to pay this 33 million from when you'd have a 30 billion pound deficit uh, the scottish tories blasted this confession as they highlighted how important farming is to scotland it is it's the, it's massive farming it, it, well the whole of the rural economy is massive for scotland <coughs> uh, farmers have long been neglected by the SNP executive, of course, because they only care about the big three cities, really, don't they? Anything else can go hang. Uh, Shadow Cabinet Rural, uh, Secretary for Rural Affairs in the Islands, Rachel Hamilton, MSP, told the Scottish Daily Express the SNP government has consistently let down farmers throughout its time in office, but this marks a new low if they roll back on their promise to reinstate the 33 million that they cut from the agricultural budget which was not their money, as I say. 
they will endanger food security, the livelihoods of thousands and devastate rural Scotland, which they have neglected for so long. They must make good on their previous promise and guarantee the return of this vital funding. I think one stage further, as I say, I think the only way around this is that the UK government steps in and says, we're not giving you the money, we're paying the farmers directly. Farmers, please apply to us. We will do it. We can do it efficiently and you'll get your money on time. And remove that from the SNP. Now, the SNP won't like it, but since they can, have now been shown, have been shown to be spending money that is not theirs, i.e. theft or fraud, call it what you will, they can hardly go to court and complain about it when they are the ones that have caused this problem. I'll stop there and I will come up. Well, there you are. I think it's stunning, isn't it? I mean, who'd have thought the SNP committing sort of grave acts of potential fraud and potential theft with money that doesn't belong to them and in the same time damaging one of the most valuable commodities Scotland has, its rural economy. It's almost as though these people deliberately do these things because they want to go to jail. It's quite clearly illegal. And there she is, Shona Robertson, trying to spin her way out of it with her bum chum, Gujan, gouging Scotland's farmers. They really are a right pair, aren't they? But then it's all SNP all the way. You expect nothing less. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. And I do hope that this video has earned um, a subscription for those regular viewers, you lovely regular viewers who watch and yet have not yet subscribed. I'm sure now is an excellent time and a quick press of that button takes a moment and you are part of the crowd that will investigate once more the truth and reveal what a bunch these people truly are. As for the rest of you, thank you very much for watching. I shall see you in the next video and until then, stay safe, stay well and remember, you can't trust these buggers further than you can comfortably spit a rat. Bye.